Hello YouTube and welcome to Minecraft Let's Present series and I'll be doing some tours of my medieval world called Yorkshire. I uh, showed you an overhead beforehand but now we're gonna show some interior work done to this place and we're gonna start with the common one the Town Hall. Yorkshire Town Hall Commons open daily bulletins inside well, I hope it's open daily. You know what, it'd be bad if uh, we had to shut down our government, right? I say, oh man, you know how all the corruption involved with the government these days? It might be better off. Well, I'll let you decide for that based on character and truth telling. Anyway, we have water fountains out front here. You head inside. If you didn't hear that, I'm going to turn up the volume a little. Anyway, that greets you when you walk in the door. This is one of the atrium interiors that's located. There's no way to get up to that pangola. That's okay, because there's nothing up there anyway. Anyway, that was the exit, or another entrance on the other side. So, you have choices, and this is the rule board. Rule board, no yuck talk. I had to put that because it censored some of the other ways I was playing them. Ask where to build. Brand new personnel are to explore first. Like I said, anyone who joins my worlds, I give the privilege to open doors so that they can look inside and see what's around. But uh, I have to get to know you a little bit first. You have to be in the party. Please no connect mics. Connect mics. I've had to delete a couple of friends as a result of these connect mics. They're just, they give me a headache. I hate doing that, but please no connect mics. That's just, that should be, it's not that expensive to go buy a headset. I've had my Xbox black headset. $15, actually, it it was a $40, it came with a keypad, it came with, oh, 400 Microsoft points, you know, and I paid $40 for it, so it's not that expensive. I forgot what else included. Anyway, bulletins, alright, this is a voting area, voting forms, if you're voting for the mayor of the town. Line starts here. Yeah. Tax collector office. Place to people dread the most. It's like, no, I don't want to pay my taxes. Well, you know, it's our duty as citizens to pay for some privileges or some services we have. So that's why it's there. Policemen, firemen, uh, road service, you name it. Up here is a headquarter loft in. It's a place where the main chief sleeps. I don't know if that's realistic to a townhouse, but you know, it will work. There is a bathroom in this place if you're wondering, so it's not like you can sleep there and then have to go to another building or to an outhouse to go to the bathroom. In fact, here it is right here. Gentlemen, water closet, because that's the terms that were used in those days. It's still used today in Europe, water closets. Oh, these ones are functioning, by the way. Whoa, don't fall in there. It's a piston that moves the block back and the water moves forward. Anyway, I hope you saw that. If you didn't, my apologies. The, the door closes automatically. A vanity. I may have to 
do something different with the next toilet designs. Archives in study room. Place where they have cobwebs and pressure plates. They didn't write it in stone, by the way. If you were wondering why they're pressure plates. See, some records. You get the idea. This is the Madame's bathroom, if you didn't know, I put it as that. I think these toilets, yeah, these ones are better. These are the way I should have gone with them. Yep. Toilets that function in the medieval world, now that's pure convenience. Yes, sir. Alright, so that was pretty much this side of the town hall. It's no other way. Oh, I hate the rain in this game. <laughs> it's so loud. Hey there, Bo Buddy. Or should I say Bo Batty? Now we got the firearm superintendent clerk office. You gotta check that weapon in, boy. You need to check that weapon in. Do not hold that it's actually unhealthy the way you're holding it. It's like right in your eye. <laughs> you better get that checked. Firearm, superintendent, clerk office. You know, here's the windows. May I help you? What do I have in here anyway? Oh yeah, blaze rod, blaze powders, fire charges, and blocks of iron. I think that's the way the other chest is. <gasps> oh, fail. Swords. Flint steel. Make it look like guns in a way. The old flint and steel. Refreshment zone. Have a seat. I have to turn the volume down. I don't know. I like the sound of the rain. It's too loud. It, it, it's better if it was lower volume. But we have the nation's flag. That's the nation's flag when it looks inside buildings. I usually do it that way. It almost looks Italian. I love Italian flags. They make me think of subs. They make me think of some of the best food around. Office and rest deluxe quarters. So I'll just give you a quick tour here. I mean, simple. Each room. place to rest and it's an office place as well like yeah they don't look officey to me well that's the way I'm doing offices right now if you see it from the hallway it looks like an office building an old school one all right back down here again we're coming out the other side it's nice that they don't attack you now in creative mode all right, over here is the horse licensing on right, carriage register on left. I would like to register my 1.6 horse, which is not out yet for this game on the Xbox. It's out on the PC version. Oh yeah, one of my friends changed up the blocks and this is awesome sounding. What happened? Oh, okay, that's what happened. So it's daytime again. It sounds like staple guns and just the grind of working behind the counters. And this place is more like an RMV type of style. So that's why I have it going boom, 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 boom. You get the idea. And this is pretty much it for the interior.
come out here. We'll head down this way first. Show you the carriage area. Place where you'd put your horse and buggy right here before going to the town hall. Another angle of the town hall. Here's the horse and buggy. So you put your horses in here, or your pigs, or wherever you want to ride, donkeys. And they can eat beautiful melon, or beautiful hay, and they have water. Satisfactory guaranteed, and that's where your taxpayers at work, tax payments at work. Taxpayer dollars. Over here is a well. Yums. One of the many designs I use. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I gotta keep this as real as possible. I'm not gonna use the fly mode. Okay, so we're gonna start with this clock tower. The clock tower is integrated into these apartment complexes. So, we're gonna start with this one on the end here. There are three different sizes to choose from on the bottom. Doorbell. Open up. <laughs> Walk in. Got a clock on the wall. Got English table. Chandeliers. And a little bit of a uh, crown molding around the chandeliers. There's a specific term for that. If you would like to leave it in the description as to what that term is, I would be most appreciative because I don't know what it is called. One of the bathrooms. They have to be small because they're apartment. The back entrance. And it's just a deck area with loads of chairs and a place to grow your plants. This person here loves the horticulture. Oh, it looks like we got an occupant in that one. Well, it'll be checking you out soon enough. <laughs> Didn't pay his rent on time, so he has to check out. Anyway, this person loves the Yorkshire regional flag. That's what I'm going to call it. And this place is one of the bigger places on the end. It has two bedrooms. Two bedroom and look up here you can see the ceiling. Exposed beams. A nook area. Yeah, you get the idea. Let's move on to the next one. And what would be a doorbell without having different types? Creeper, you have to move out by tomorrow. Do you know that? No, no, no. Don't, don't play with me. You know you have to move out. I'm not going to hit him. If you hit him, he will explode. Anyway, we got the dining room. Okay, this one has both the crown molding on the outsides and around the chandeliers. Very quaint style. Living room. Bedroom. And a bathroom. Toiletches. Well, at least the creeper kept it in spick span condition. I don't see any issues here. But he didn't pay his rent. So he had to move out. Sad, sad, sad. He'll get that from time to time. Now he's living right next to the apartments. Because he has nowhere to go. Sounds like an urgent doorbell to me. 